Alright guys, Saturday, February 1st. Hey guys, today is Friday, February 28th. And I'm sorry this vlog hasn't been the best. I'm going to combine February and March's vlogs together because I didn't vlog at all for February. I just did my weigh-ins, basically. Um, tomorrow I will be weighing in. I'm scared to step on the scale because I had some really good days this month and then I've had some really bad days. And I have a therapy appointment March 24th. Um, they deal with anxiety, depression, stress management, eating disorders, all kinds of stuff. So I hope that having someone that I can finally vent to will help me get back on track. And then me and Brandon have decided that starting Monday, I think it's like March 2nd, we're going to pick a excursion to do on the Nordic track because we have like their program on the thing. So the first week I'm choosing what we do and it's going to be the Mount Fuji hike and then he can choose the next week and then I'll choose the next and then he'll choose the last and then so on and so forth. Um, I know I'm going to be nowhere near my weight loss goal for this month if I even made one. I think at this point in my journey I really just want to Focus on making better choices, drink more water, less Starbucks and Dunkin', and try to control myself when bad foods are around, especially at work with the donuts and cakes. Like, we had a drug rep come in and she brought like Chick fil A chicken nuggets and fruit and all kinds of crap. So, I really want to learn self control in situations like that. Um, so, yeah, that's that. So I'll be weighing in tomorrow, and I'm really sorry that this vlog is so boring. I've just been so tired working with a new provider and trying to figure out how everything needs to run with her, and it's just been a lot. So yeah, I'm looking forward to starting the new month and trying to be as strong and well-powered as possible to make better choices, because I haven't been making the best. And I'll see you guys in my next clip. Alright guys, it's Saturday, February 29th. Weigh in. Alright, it's Sunday, March 1st. We are weighing in. Ugh. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, March 11th, and I have been freaking out the last couple of days because tomorrow I'm getting all four of my wisdom teeth removed. These two bottom ones are severely impacted and they're going to have to cut them like in half and then extract them half by half and then the other two up here are just fully grown in and I'm just getting all four of them taken out at once because I don't want to have to do two and then go back and do two. I'd rather just nip it in the bud. Um, I'm very nervous. I'm very scared. I've never had surgery except once in my life and I was like five years old. They went in and I had my adenoids taken out and like multiple sets of tubes put in my ears and that's all. I've never been under anesthesia or anything like I'm going to be completely knocked out and I'm freaking out. So like I was saying, my mom just knocked on the door and scared the crap out of me so we were talking. And my laundry's going now. So, yeah, I'm getting my wisdom teeth pulled out. I will try to update you guys after they get yanked out if I feel like it. I've never had surgery, so I don't know how I'm going to feel. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next clip. Hey, guys. Today is Friday the 13th, post-op day two for my wisdom teeth. And as you can see, I have the chipmunk syndrome going on. Um, I woke up this morning thinking I would be in extreme pain and swelling. Um, I'm not in extreme pain. If I try to apply pressure to my bottom teeth to eat anything, that's when it starts hurting. So I've just been eating really soft foods uh, like noodles and mashed potatoes. Hey, Tucker. And then um, other than that, I'm not really in much pain besides like down here in my jawline. These two were impacted. So I think because they were like tugging and pulling and doing what they were doing, that's why I'm sore. But as far as overall mouth pain, this has actually gone surprisingly really well compared to what was going on in my mind, what I thought was going to happen. I'm just really glad that I took 
today and the whole weekend to recover. That way I don't go into work looking like a chipmunk. Um, when I came out of anesthesia, I wasn't loopy or talking crazy or doing anything crazy. Thankfully, I'm glad Brandon didn't get to film that. I went straight to the car, came home. I had to repack my gauze a couple of times, especially because of my top one they took out. This top one had cavities all in it, so... Um, oh, I got to keep my teeth. I have my teeth um, in my bag, my aftercare bag. So once I get up and start moving, I might show you guys those. But yeah, I'm home. I'm resting, playing some Candy Crush. I'm not drinking out of straws. And that is really hard for me. I didn't realize how much I re relied on a straw. I have to drink out of just cups. Um, so yeah, that's my update. It's really not as bad as... I've seen on the internet, you know, videos circulating. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's going to be me. But it's really not too bad. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that. And when I get up and moving, I might show you guys my teeth. I might not. I don't know. That's pretty graphic. But when she asked me if I wanted them, thanks, Tucker. When she asked me if I wanted them, um, I was like, wow, that's a weird question. She's like, well, you can have them for a little bit and show people. And then if you don't want them anymore, just throw them away. So I was like... Sure, why not? My first adult surgery. <laughs> I'll keep them. Alright guys, pardon the noise in the background. This might be disturbing for some of you, but these are my wisdom teeth. I finally got up and started cleaning. So, um, this guy with the cavities all in it, this one was my top right. And it was constantly getting infected and inflamed. So I'm so glad he's out. Pardon my washer. And then, I believe... That is a hole, and then the rest, well, that's a hole. And then these guys are half. Those were my bottom ones. And that's my other top one right here. Isn't that gross? Oh! But I, I'm so glad it went the way that it did. And it's over with. I don't have to worry about these guys bugging me anymore. The thing I love most about my house is the natural lighting. Tucker, say hi. Tucker, say hi. Remy, want to say hi? No, I just love the lighting. It's beautiful. I'm cleaning. I'm trying to get stuff done since I'm off today. Washer's going per usual. Remy, what are you doing? Yep, just hanging out. It's Friday, March 27th. I'm getting ready to work out and then do yard work. This is what I'm working out in. These pants are so comfortable. I got them from Kohl's. Brandon has to work from home. I took today off from work for a mental health day because I'm just really overwhelmed working with two providers. So, yeah, I'm hoping that once I work out and go do yard work, that's kind of like therapy for me. Um, and, yeah, my kids, my cats, are hanging out inside my armoire. Remy. What are y'all doing? You goofy. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, March 31st. So, clearly, my weight loss vlogs are not the best. I think I'm just going to start calling them weigh-ins because I'm not comfortable filming myself while I'm working out yet. But, as you guys saw... I don't even remember what February, February was just crazy because I started learning to work with the new provider that came on into my practice and then March, as you guys saw, I got my wisdom teeth taken out. That was a journey. Um, and then my therapy session actually got canceled because of the whole coronavirus epidemic, which made me feel really bad. But here we go. We're moving forward. So... I think I lost 0.8 pounds in March. Um, the PA that I work with, she used to do weight management a while ago before she decided to do family medicine slash primary care. So she decided Monday we are going to start dieting together because she's kind of let her diet get out of control and she loves food, but she's not as big as me. Like She still works out and drinks a lot of water. She just doesn't make healthy food choices. So she wants to help me get back on track and lose at least 
10, 15 pounds before I see my primary care in May. And I don't want my primary care doctor to yell at me when I go there. I feel bad that I've let her and myself down because I have not lost the amount of weight that I wanted to lose. But the coronavirus has made it extremely difficult to, you know, get out and want to do things. Um, gyms are closed. And right before that happened, I canceled my Planet Fitness membership anyways because we have the treadmill and elliptical here. So there's no excuse why I'm retaining the weight that I'm retaining other than I'm still eating like crap and making bad choices. So hopefully Monday she's going to help me motivate. She's going to help motivate me to stay on track, lose weight, and make better choices. She's already added me on my fitness pal. And she said she will be looking at what I log. So that's kind of nerve-wracking. But... It's all out of love. She really wants to support me. She knows my struggles. She knows why I've gained the weight I have gained. So I'm excited to get back on track, hopefully. Um, I'm still drinking a lot of water, which I'm proud of. I've completely given up soda. I don't drink as much sweet tea. I still have my coffee. And even diet sodas. I'm not even drinking a lot of diet soda anymore. So... I feel like I'm making better choices. I just could work harder. So that's that. Um, I decided to combine the February and March together in this video because I figured I would just make it a little longer and just put them in the same video instead of doing two separate ones. So I will see you guys in April.